We're going quick and easy today, but I wanted to cover bracket notation because it showed up quite a few times in these quick hits and I've never really explained it. I suspect a lot of you are familiar with it already, but hey, it never hurts to refresh your memory. Let's get started. Bracket notation is a way of referring to part of a variable you've defined. You've probably most often seen it used with arrays, but it can also be used with strings and objects. We're going to cover all three. So with that in mind, here's a bunch of data we'll be playing with. Let's start with arrays. They're easy and familiar. When you use bracket notation with arrays, you're feeding it the array index. Everything in an array is in order, starting from zero and counting up. So in our player's array, Zach is zero and Corey is four. We can use those indices like this. Save that, quick refresh, Zach and Diana. Simple enough. Let's move on to strings. When you use a bracket notation with strings, you're also basically sending an index, but in this case it's the index of where the letter falls in the string. Again, it's zero based, so O will be zero. And because spaces and other non-alphanumeric characters count, the final L in all will be nine. Observe. Save that. Refresh. W and I L. We can also use bracket notation with objects. In this case, we need to put a string inside the bracket or a variable representing a string, and that string needs to match one of the object's keys. It looks like this. Save, brush, there we go. That's great, but seems kind of pointless in light of the fact that dot notation exists, is easier to read, and doesn't require the values be passed as strings, right? Why use bracket notation when we can just do this? Let's double up our responses. Monopoly true, monopoly true. Indeed, if you're just directly referencing an object's property, that's the way to go. But there are situations in which we might have, say, an array of keys represented as strings and want to work with those. That's where bracket notation comes in rather handy, like this. Save, brush, hi. That still seems a bit contrived, sure, but when we get into situations involving larger data manipulation or loops, it starts to be really useful. Here's an example that will log out all of the values in the object that match the keys in our keys array, which is to say, all of them. Save that, one more refresh, fast and easy and it takes care of converting strings to properties for you. Nice. So there you have it, the basics of bracket notation. What do you guys think? Was this too basic for this series or did you find it valuable? You can always reply to this video and let me know. See you next week.